Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Amano. I'm your host Demolius. And uh, before I uh, start scanning for activity, I want to take a look at a few things. First of all, my, my soldier pool. I got four snipers, one heavy, one assault and one support. And two rookies. Is there anything I can get here? Actually, if I get 75 credits, I can increase the size of my squad. That kind of begs the, uh, the question why I didn't check for that earlier. How much? I got one credit. Um, no, I don't really think I can afford to sell anything at this moment, so I'm gonna have to wait for a, for another mission. Oh, and what's the status on? Yeah, not good. Not good at all. Okay. Well, that's all I wanted to know. So, uh, let's scan for activity. Contact detected. Aha. Let's try our Phoenix scanner first. Enemy is padlocked. This is just a nor normal small UFO. Closing on target. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna assemble a squad and I'll see you guys uh, in a bit. Alright guys, this is the squad that I'm taking. I got one assault, uh, which is actually a squaddy, just recently promoted. Carapace over nanofiber vest for durability. The heavy, uh, it's the, uh, the one I got with low accuracy, does scope. Uh, two rookies both for frag grenades so I can clear some uh, cover and, and do damage even with low uh, accuracy because they both have an aim of 55 and I took the, uh, the sniper that I got reward from uh, one of the missions gave him uh, actually did I give him carapace armor? no I did not that's I think actually still on X yes it is since he's not using it, I'm gonna strip him off the rest of his gear too. Alright. No, wrong one. Spider. Okay. Now, he has uh, 10 health points, which is decent enough. And I am considering also giving him a scope. Because this is the guy that I gave the ability so he can move and cover. However, if he moves, he has a penalty of 20 to his aim, so the scope helps him to still land his uh, shots on target. Alright, I'll see you guys on the field. Okay, well, crash sites are always uh, difficult for a variety of reasons. Not not too much cover, especially not when you're outside uh, the, of the UFO. So lots of open space. And a lot of aliens patrolling, so we're going to do this very carefully. Okay, I accidentally already moved my sniper here and put him on overwatch. But uh, I'm going to do the rest of the actions then. Hmm, thank god nothing so far. Someone texting. Actually, forgot to give this assault a laser rifle, la laser pistol, which is kind of a shame. Okay, since I don't know what direction the uh, the aliens are gonna come from, I'm gonna play this a little bit carefully. Okay, nothing, nothing yet, but I want to keep my squad close to, close to each other. I'm not too terrified about 
being flanked because if these guys run into me I get to I get a turn to react first. You hear that? Hmm. I got the sneaking idea. Hmm. Okay, I wanna plan ahead, but I think I reveal some agents if I do this, so I'm gonna go check. Actually no. Hmm. And I must admit, I kind of like having a mobile uh, sniper that can move to, together with the rest of the squad. I mean, I haven't seen him in combat yet, so I don't know if the uh, hit in accuracy that it takes for being able to be on the move is worth it. But if he has, I think, 82 accuracy now, it will only improve if he levels up. So might might be worth it. Might be worth it. Okay then. Hmm. So far nothing. I don't know what she hit, but... Negative damage. Okay, okay. Okay, let's see what our sniper can do. I did notice what the uh, my teammate did shoot. He, he shot the cover for my assault, so he he's gonna have to move sooner or later. Or well, he's gonna have to move now. But I'm just not sure where I want to move into. Hmm, this might actually be a good option. Cause I I don't want to move in closer to the combat per se, and this is the edge of the map. So I think I can do this somewhat safely. gonna move to partial cover and if he moves then she's outflanked or rather she's flanked not outflanked um wait doesn't he have cover here no apparently not Wait, and here he has full. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna argue. I'm actually expecting mutants to be on this mission. They're falling back. Hmm. Yeah, that that that's falling back. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Would be very bad if we run into something that has explosive right now because four of my five guys are hiding behind two trees. What's making that noise? Ah, that's making that noise. Very nice. They're backing up. Advance. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you. 
And I think it's about time to give this squad a guaranteed kill. Is there some full cover you can sit behind here? Mm. Okay. I'm fairly sure that this is the same uh, floater that we saw earlier because I don't think they ever spawn alone Take the with chance with the pistol or 66 of shotty mm. Yeah sure for the rookie. I could have gone closer with the assault, but I don't want to get too close to the ship. Guess that might... Uh, more often than not there's also aliens inside the ship itself. So if you get too close to it you might activate them and it's not something I want to do. It's go time. Oh yeah. It's a good thing I didn't They're move that assault earlier. Because then this would have happened to him. dash towards that location but oh actually I'm not sure if they got already got grenades or not let's to be on the safe side assume that they do in that case I think it's best if I keep my squad next to each other so everyone could fire overwatch or as many as, as possible anyway. We know none at all can fire overwatch. That's also, you know, okay, that's fine. Um Okay. I'm gonna be, uh, play it safe and call uh I choose soldiers and partial cover back. I think mutons have a fairly high uh, accuracy. It's not something I want to risk. I'm not sure if I uh, put him over there. Yes, cover. So he's gonna be. Well, that for to be safe, I'll put him over here. I don't think the mutants saw the rest of my squad. So hopefully, if I put them in Overwatch, I should be able to lure them into an ambush. Sweet. Adjusting aim. Just a shame my soldiers can't hit. Well, aliens. That all you got? Oof. Don't think you're good cover where you're standing now, so you <laughs> you're really lucky. Okay, let's start off with our sniper. Very nice. Yeah, they already got alien grenades, so... I am very happy that I did not take any risks with this. I don't think it would have went well. Let's see if... 
Uh, I am sort of taking a risk with this rookie, but only because she's a rookie. Anyone else I would not do, do such a risky move with. my panicking soldiers always shooting at my own troops. <sighs> oh, if to have my squad panicking there's not much I can do. I'm not moving out of my full cover, so just gonna take hope for the best. Okay, at least he hit. Yeah. And they're no longer pranking. Good. Oh. Damn. I mixed those up. Just overwatch with a shotgun. Hmm. What the hell was that? Come on, hit, hit, hit. Come on. Oh, sh shit. There's one health left. Okay, so use two move actions. Hmm. How is he now? <laughs> I also love how she put the barrel right in his in his mouth. <laughs> okay. okay. I hope I got all the patrols uh, taken care of now, but it's kind of hard to be sure. I don't want to move my guy to the right, my assault, because I have a chance that I will trigger the uh, the outside. There's something out there. Yeah, I think it's just the outsider that's still alive now. Okay. Okay, let's go. Enemies inside. Yeah, I knew it. Wait. Then how did I not trigger him when I ran in? Uh Okay, that's kinda strange. Something out there. Where's my sniper? Outsiders have really high aim, if I'm not mistaken, and they also have a light plasma rifle, which also adds further to their aim. So, you are gonna hunker down, because I cannot find full cover for you. Okay.
think he's walking around. Yep. Well, the long scenic wait and then you miss. Shot he hit and heavy missed. Great. Oh, he, ac he actually used both of his movements to, to get to that location. Okay, sucks to be you. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of yes, power it would have been generated to propel that ship. Shen. I'd watch your fire down there. Oh. That equipment could be highly unstable. Thank you. Bye -bye. Commander, the operation was a success. Only five aliens. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> And we still managed to get one of our rookies dead. Well, we got ourselves a new support, which is always beneficial. No one else got a uh, promotion in though, which is a real shame. We got a second UFO power source, so we can we can do the uh, research now. We can sell the damaged uh, flight computer. Okay, let's actually. Start with sun and the damaged thing. Because the extra credits are always nice. Okay. Commander, we're in desperate need of additional troops. If we don't start recruiting new soldiers through the barracks soon, we're not yeah, going that, to Yeah, that's what I was going to do, buddy. Right, cost 15. So I need 10 more. Oh, gray mark. What can I sell? Actually, I'm gonna sell a few of these things because I don't got too many corpses left to sell. Wait, wait, wait. need one more. Yeah, no, just sell one. There we go. Because we seem to be running out of troops at an in <laughs> increasingly rapid pace. Let's actually check what. Autopsies we can do, or researches we can do. Yeah, I sold the crystal of course. I can do another autopsy after the cyber disk. Or, actually, I want to start my next research before I start the next episode. Yes, it's a new research. I want to have all the autopsies uh, this out of the way. That way we can uh, start focusing on weapon and defensive uh, researchers in the future. And we got all the uh, autopsies uh, performed. I don't know, it's just a uh, sort of peace of mind, I guess. Well, thanks everybody for tuning into this episode. My name is Demolius, and uh, I'll see you next time.